Snell, and players of Brooke Palacoa and Riley Luther. We're going to start with an opening statement from head coach, followed by questions to the student athletes only. Coach? Um, they got off to a quick start. I thought we had some open looks and, and didn't convert, and then they got some momentum, and then they shot the three extremely, extremely well, and then they got buildings established, and, and then uh, the point guard kind of took over. So it was kind of a three things that kind of knocked us out, and uh, it's disappointing, but um, I'm really, really proud of our team, uh, proud of what we've accomplished this year at Proud University, and, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, they hit some three balls, and then they got buildings going, and then they got uh, Canada going. Coach, um, LT was, for, um, um, LT was for TG Sports. The question I want to ask you, do you think the style of basketball that is played in this conference, in fact, well, and compared to your guys' conference, do you think is a different style of basketball, of tempo mostly? Do you see on a regular basis? Um, they're definitely at tempo. We thought we could run on them and get some transition looks, um, but the, the physicality of play uh, was a real adjustment for us, so obviously, uh, and we didn't adjust very well. Uh, but uh, more than, more than the, the running up and down, we have some teams that can really run our conference. It is just the physicality of it. And uh, they established post play, they established early, uh, and she just got after it and, 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 and got herself the free throw line. Fortunately, she missed some of those on the free throw. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they shot the three ball way better than they, they normally do. Thank you. Again, questions just to the student athletes for now, so we can dismiss them. Brooke, obviously not the way you, you wanted your career to end, but. You guys won a school record 25 games this year. You won two Mountain West titles in your career. It's probably too soon to, to be reflecting and whatnot, but when you're going to look back at your career, what's going to stand out, and, and, and how proud are you going to be of, of, of what you've done in Boise State? Um, I mean, you rattled off stats about wins and losses, and I'm not going to, I don't even know now, so I'm not going to remember those. Um, my teammates, my coaches, my mentors, um, how we could come in and change a culture and make it our own. Um, that's what I'm going to remember. A question for Riley. Uh, Riley, the team gets down 15 to nothing. Uh, obviously, you're playing against a very good team. How tough is it to gather yourselves you know, psychologically to try and get back in a game like that? Well, we were told before the game, let it fly. So I don't mind shooting the three ball. So when I get the ultimate green light, whenever I get the ball, I'm going to do what I'm told. No matter what team we're playing, what conference we're playing. I said, Riley, it kind of seemed like the same thing happened. Uh, I think it was against Colorado State when you scored 15 points in that fourth quarter. You scored eight in the first quarter today when the team really needed it. I, I mean, is this obviously you're going to play a, a, a bigger role next year? Does this kind of feel like a, the last few games have kind of built a, been a building block for you? I'd say, yeah. I've had those uh, single quarters where I've kind of hit my shots and had a really solid quarter. So hopefully next year I put more of those quarters together and make it a full game. Any other questions to student athletes? Okay, thank you. Uh, questions now for Coach. Coach, you mentioned uh, Jordan Canada and the league doing just to the players that you're going to have to really make an eye on. Uh, now that the game is taking place, what did you think of those two of their performance? Well, you know, we went in, we thought they were two of the best, their top ten players in the nation. And uh, we thought that uh, one of them would need an off game. And, uh, and then, then maybe we could control the other a little bit. But we were not able to do that. We just we really weren't counting on the shootings from three so well. And uh, they went 10 for 17 from three. And you know you kind of pick your poison. And then when you do that, you space you know, space it spaces out a little bit. And then she got one on one looks in the post and, and kind of took over. When, when you looked up and it was 15 nothing, I know I think, I think it I took. Didn't look up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you guys. I, didn't score for about the first four minutes. Was it just kind of the hit you in the mouth and you, you kind of didn't know what to do at that point? I mean, did it kind of, obviously you knew it was going to be a challenge, but was it almost, did it almost catch you off guard? You know, we got wide open looks right at the beginning, and uh, but they were perimeter looks, and you want to get something early going to the rim and, uh, and a higher percentage shot. But we got wide open looks and we missed, and then the rim shrinks on you a little bit, and then it's pretty high level basketball and you're on UCLA's court, and so those things kind of all in, add in. Uh, I was really proud of uh, Riley just being a freshman, coming in and, and setting the tone for us, and I thought we uh, 
had a pretty good finish up in the first quarter, and we kind of let down a little bit in the second. Any other questions? Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the 